Hello guys, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I created this typing effect in Figma. Let's get started. Alright guys, so to make this tutorial short, we are going to use the word creators now what we are going to do is that we are going to max this we are going to use max to create this effect so hitting letter r we are able to select our rectangle to and then draw a rectangle on this that will send this to the back you can use command left square bracket to send that to the back as well now since we are going to use a max what's going to happen is we are going to hide the last letters here and then reveal just c at the beginning and then at every point in time we'll reveal one letter so i'm going to drag the rectangle here select both and then i'll max it so now we're fitting every other thing but then it's still there so when i drag this you realize that the letters get revealed the next thing i want to add is a cursor so we use our pencil to create that now for the height we can just use the height of the max if you want but i'll just use 50 pixels then i'll change this black to white because of where we'll be using this next thing let's just align this and then i'll reduce the space between these two so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a component so i just hit the component tool at the top here to create a component so at every point in time so now you can see this you can review the full thing just by dragging in yeah just by dragging this so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to hit selecting this component you can see there's a plus icon here now what happens is clicking on this will add a variant so we'll click on that to add a variant now if we open this it reveals the next letter but because this variant is just this little box we don't see the letter r so I'm going to expand this a little bit so that we can see everything. Now I'll just hide. So I'll just review the letter R. Good. Now you duplicate it again using Command D and then you review letter E. On the last section, what you are going to do is we are going to hide every single thing because that is where we are going to show just the cursor. And then it's going to start again to the side so this is what we have now let's move to the prototyping stage so when we go to prototype what we want to do is that we are going to select the first variant and then we'll link it to the second one now we have our interaction details so we're not going to use on click after delay so we'll tell figma that after 200 milliseconds it should change to the second variant and then the insta um, we should do that the animation should be instant right now it's only when you have variant that you see this change to property because that's where it works interactive component so that's where it works so we'll do the same for the second one so after delay 200 you can play with the time depending on how fast or slow you want it you do the same thing for the second after delay so i'm going to speed the speed up this section so now when we get to the last end what we are going to do is we'll send it back to the first variant and then we'll give it the same properties again so now we'll have our interactive component created so i'm just going to go to my design now let's move to the asset section and then this is the second page we are using page two so when we go to the asset section you realize that the local components are grouped based on where they are found in your figma file so since we are on page two, the components we want to use is this one under page two. So we'll just pick that and then position it well. Let me delete this. I'll position this well on the design. Good. So now I'm previewing this. This is our result, guys. You can recreate this using longer text like I had in the previous um, design creators and brands now it's the same concept the only thing that happens is you're going to have a very long um component so let me just show you so you see in here it's very longer 
same thing if you have a very longer text it's going to continue like that so you can create your own prototype um typing effect and then share with me so that's it for this video guys if you have any questions or you have any video you want me to create kindly leave them in the comments and i'll respond to you or you can hit me up on instagram at regan.design i'll see you guys in my next video